Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel, traders. Today we're focused on day trading addict. Just hit 400k subscribers. Link is down below in the description if you want to go and subscribe to his channel. The video we are focusing on today is how I would learn day trading if I could start over. I feel like this would be very beneficial to everyone watching. Even if you've been trading for a long time, we can always learn from someone else. So without further ado, Let's get into the video. So if I had to start from zero, this is what I would do. In this yeah, video, I'm go. going to explain step by step what I would do if I had to start all over trading the markets. You ready? So let's go. All right. Let's now, go. thanks a lot for stopping by, especially if you're new to the channel. What I do, I help struggling traders take their trading to the next level. I have 15 years of experience when it comes to trading these markets. So you definitely want to check out the content that's on this channel, right? So how would I approach trading if I had to start all over? First thing is save up more money. So I will work, grind. If I had to work seven days a week, which I did in the beginning, right? I will work seven days a week. I will work overtime. I will save up money, right? So I can take that money and put it in my trading account. Now, when you first start to trade, you don't really need that much money. But if you could start with more, you know, go ahead. Usually what I see people start with is around 300 all the way to 2000. Now, the next thing I would do is I will look around my house to see if I have some stuff that I don't use at all and I will sell it, okay? Me personally, when I first started off, I actually sold a lot of stuff that I didn't need anymore. And I also sold my car. Now, I'm not telling you to sell your car because I know some of you guys have kids. You know, maybe you need your car to go to work, whatever. Sell your house, sell everything you have, put it all on gold. The cases, right? Me personally, at the time, I was living in that. New York, so it was easy for me to jump on a bus or a train to get from point A to point B, okay? So I, I think, like, he's not saying, like, sell your car. He's just saying what he did, which is completely and utterly silly to do. You don't sell all your possessions. I look around my house to see if I have things that I don't use at all and I'm gonna sell it either on eBay, Craigslist or wherever. Now the third thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop buying unnecessary stuff. Like brand Stop buying unnecessary stuff, here we go. Brand new clothes, sneakers. Now I'm not saying that, you know, you can't treat yourself once in a while, but you have to slow down on buying stuff. It's just what it is, okay? You have to slow down on buying unnecessary stuff because now you want to become an entrepreneur. You might have to sacrifice. Amen. Like, bro, can you buy a top three, four hundred pound Dior's uh, shoes, a brand. You know that investment is better elsewhere. But then, yo, know, you either live for yourself for today or your future self. And I think it just with stuff like that, it's about developing yourself to not squander your money when you have little. But and obviously when you have a lot of money, you can do whatever you want to a certain degree. Um, but yeah, the more you make, the more you spend. So it's just one of those things that you got to learn over time. Some money is just what it is. So those are the three things I would start with first. And honestly, I'm going to basically combine all those together and say, you know, that's the first thing I would do. Now, the second thing I would do is I will find an expert. Guys, you do not have to reinvent the wheel, okay? If something's working for somebody else, I guarantee you it probably could work for you too. You just have to put in the work. So the fastest way to success that I know, okay, and I'm quite sure that a lot of professionals know, is to follow someone that is already successful in whatever field that you're trying to get in, okay? So if you want to be a trader, it's best to follow someone that's actually trading so you can actually pick up the skills that that person has. I want that person to understand the market in a deep way, okay? I have 15 years of experience, so I will look for someone like myself. I'm not saying that you have to look for someone that has 15 years experience, but you know, I want someone that knows what he or she is doing. I have a lot of live trading on my videos. I traded live in front of my students a bunch of times and also show you guys broker statements, right? So you definitely want to find an expert, okay, that know what he or she is doing because it will speed up your success. Now, the third thing I would do is I will remind myself that I'm in the learning phase, okay? Now, when it comes to trading, there are four different stages, right? The first stage is the learning stage. The second stage is the testing phase. The third stage is the profitable stage. And the fourth stage is actually where you become a master, right? So the learning stage and the testing stage is where you are learning your new strategy. And then you're going to take that new strategy and you're going to test it out and learn all the ins and outs and get used to that strategy. Now, what a lot of people do is when they get a new strategy, they think that they are going to take that strategy right and by next week they are going to become a master trader it doesn't work like that you still have to learn the market it's just like 
learning anything else. If you learn how to play basketball, do you think you're going to be a basketball expert by next week or next month? No. So you have to keep reminding yourself, listen, let me calm down. I'm in the learning phase. Let me stop trying to force things and let me learn the right way. Now, the fourth thing I would do is I will spend more time on the demo. Yes, because when I first started out, you know, I was just hungry to make money. I didn't like my job. You know, I didn't like my current situation, so I wanted to quit my job. So I went on demo for maybe a week and that was it. And the next thing you know, I went live and lost a lot of money. And I kept going live, I kept going. Yo, we've all been there. When you just try and flip accounts, you know, you're just trying to flip them accounts and you just keep learning them. That's why the prop firm, the Forex Fund are down in the description. Go buy your package. Get funded today. Man. Live, losing money, losing money, losing These money. So yeah. if I had to start over, I would spend more time on a demo because the demo is going to help you build your skills up and get used to the market. And also when I'm trading in the demo, I'm going to treat the demo the same as my live account because when I was trading demo, I was trading, you know, let's say the demo had $100,000 play money, right? I was risking maybe $2,000, $3,000 per trade. And I know for a fact, you know, I'm not gonna do that in my real account. So let's say that in my real account, I'm gonna risk $100 per trade. Guess what? On my demo account, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I will treat the demo the same as my live and also I will stay on demo much longer. Now, the fifth thing I would do is I will look over my losing trades every single Journal your progress, man. Every trade, journal it. Every, whether your analysis, make a video about your analysis. Save it to a file. Single week. Because I didn't do that in the beginning. I was hoping that next week is going to be a better week. But guess what? I didn't look over my losers. I didn't even study my losers. I didn't care about that. And I know for a fact there are a lot of traders like that. 95% of the traders that's watching this right now do not look over their losers. You will if you're watching this now and you don't do it, start it. You'll be surprised how many traders do not look over their losers. A lot of traders don't want to put in the work, right? They don't want to go over their losers and, and analyze it and say, oh, you know what? I see what I did. I was too late in the trend and that's the reason why I lost money. But traders don't do that. They don't try to analyze their trade and try to see why that was a loser. Trust me guys, that will help you build up your skills and help you become a better trader. So that's one of the things I know for a fact I would do if I had to start over. Now the sixth thing I would do is I would study my winners. Now, it's the same as studying your losers. The reason why you wanna study your winners is because your winners are special. And if you know when that special moment comes up on the chart, man, you could be a really good trader because now you can recognize that in real time, right? A lot of traders forget why they are winning. They could be on a winning streak and next thing you know, boom, get wiped out. And now they are on a losing streak and they forget how they was winning in the past. So you have to study your losers, know your best setups, know why you're winning, and that alone is gonna make you a better trader. Now, the seventh thing I would do is I would focus on the process. In the beginning, I was so focused on the money. That's all I wanted to do is make money, 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 but I didn't really care about the process. I was rushing and I didn't really care too much about what the market was telling me. And I wasn't really sitting back and waiting, FOMO letting the name. market show me what it wants to do. I was just forcing it because I wasn't following my process. And you can't do that because if you only think about the money, guess what? It's gonna be very hard for you to take the next trade if you just lost money, right? So if you lost money, let's say you lost $100, it's gonna be very hard for you to take the next trade because you're like, oh man, I don't wanna lose another $100. Guys, follow your process. Stop thinking about the money. Only think about the process. When you think about the process and when you understand that it's only about the process, the money will come automatically. And that is what I would do if I had to start over because I was always thinking about the money, right? So as soon as the market go up a little bit, I would take some money out of the market because I'm scared that the market was gonna come back and stop me out, right? So I'm not trading my process, I'm just trading the money because I'm saying, all right, you know what, let me just take this money because you know the market might stop me out. But my strategy didn't tell me to get out right now. My strategy mm -hmm. said, you know what, it's room to hold it even more. So stop thinking about the money, that's the worst thing you do. I would tell myself that if I had to start over, stop thinking about the money. Now, the eighth thing I would do, the thing is, he's talking about more like with live accounts and stuff and just like enjoying the process. But it's like anything, you got to be in it for the long run. It's a lifestyle. It's a marathon, not a sprint. It's all of those words. You know, you can use them for your motivation. But in, in the end of the day, there's no end goal. You've got to set goals, but you're always going to want to push and become better than what you already are. You know, you've got a Lamborghini, you want a McLaren and a Lamborghini. 
But yeah, you gotta start somewhere. So accept that and just start. It's our study market structure. When you are a new trader and you get in the market, you're gonna hear things like the trend is your friend. And that is correct, okay? But sometimes the trend is not your friend, okay? You have to understand when the trend is about to end. And that was my mistake when I first got in the market. I was always looking for the trend and not understanding that the market will do other things besides trending, okay? So when I'm looking at the market, there's five different things I'm looking for. I'm looking for a trend. I'm looking to see if the market is ranging. I'm looking to see if the market is breaking out. I'm looking to see if the market is pulling back for that continuation, or I'm looking to see if the market is about to reverse, okay? Ask yourself, how many times you got in a trend and next thing you know, the market start to reverse on you? What if you can actually see that reversal ahead of time? Or what if you say to yourself, you know what? I'm not even gonna take this trade. That is very powerful. And I didn't know that because everybody kept saying the trend is your friend. So I would make sure I would study those five different things and make sure I look at those things in real time because it's going to help you take better trades when you are trading. It's not all about the trend. The market is doing other things, okay? And you have to understand that when you are trading. So that's pretty much it. So let's do a recap real quick. The first thing I would do is I will save up money. So if I had to work overtime or seven days a week to fund my account, I would do that. I will sell stuff around the house that I don't need so I can get some more money so I can put in my account. And the next thing I would do is I would stop buying unnecessary stuff that I don't need. So those are the three things I would do first. The second thing I would do is I will find an expert because you do not want to learn by yourself. The fastest way to success is to follow somebody that's actually doing this. Yo, the thing is, the thing is, right, it's easier said than done. You have to work, you have to bring in money and you can't spend a lot of money if you're not bringing in a lot of money. You get what I mean? Like, say if you get 100% of your wage, but you're spending 50% on bills, 60, 70% on bills, you've got 30% left, you got to pay for, you know, maybe new clothes, X, Y, Z, cut on so short, not much percentage of money left. So then you take home every month compared to your savings. It's just not building as fast as you would like. And that's why people try and flip accounts, which is very, very, very dangerous. That's why the prop firms are like the best way to make money. However, just you can learn for free off YouTube videos. You can learn for free using a demo account. Don't need to rush into trading real money. Learn it first. You know, you can't just think and deposit money or buy a challenge and think you're going to pass. You have to understand, follow someone that trades, copy their signals copy the analysis they use, figure out how they're doing it, try and do it yourself. There's loads of ways, just gotta take time. Right, and if that person has a training program or whatever, I would invest in that person. The third thing I would do is remind myself I'm in the learning phase. Chill out, calm down, there's no rush, the no market rush. will always be here. Let me learn the market the right way. The fourth thing I would do is spend more time on a demo. Stop rushing. Learn how to build up your skills because once you build up your skills, guess what? The money's gonna come automatically. The market's always gonna be here, right? Treat demo like it's your live account. And trust me, you're gonna see, you will do much better. The fifth thing is I will look over all my losers, make sure I study my losers, make sure I figure out why I'm losing because I don't want to repeat that same mistake over and over. The sixth thing is I'm gonna look at my winners. I'm gonna do the same thing, figure out why I'm winning because I want to make sure that when I see that setup in real time, boom, I'm taking it, right? Number seven, I'm gonna focus on the process. Forget about the money, but focus on the process. I understand that the money is gonna come automatically because that's how it works. And the last thing, number eight, I will study market structure because you have to understand what the market is doing in real time, okay? That is gonna help you become a much better trader right so that's all i have for you guys today if Amen. you enjoyed this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also join my free telegram group where i post motivational videos and exclusive discounts for my program if you don't have my program by now make sure you pick that up because it can take your trading to the next level and if you have any questions comment below because i try to answer all your guys questions thanks a lot for your time and please have a great day link is in description for the daily addict Make sure to check him out, okay? 400k subscribers, insane. A lot of intake from that informational video. I mean, look, in the end of the day, it takes a while to learn how to properly trade. You can learn to trade for free on YouTube. There's never gonna be a point in your trading experience, your journey, should we say, 
where you're going to know everything. You're always learning. You're going to take losses. You will win. There'll be months you lose. There'll be months you win. It's all to do with risk to reward, risk management, your psychology and emotions with trading. It's all self-development. There's so much to it. Great video. There's so much more that he could have spoken about, but, you know, it was quick, nice and easy, 11 minute video. If you are new around here, subscribe, like the video, comment down below who you want me to do next. And yeah, that's three videos for me today. I'm out. Take it easy. Peace.